Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I'm going to say it's kind of hard for me to have a hard day, and if you are a true Dallas Cowboy fan that knows your history, then it's definitely a hard day uh, for you. Um, I'm still in disbelief that Larry Allen passes at 52 years of age. You know, on this channel, I get a lot of, you know, Eagle fans that are always in pumping up their chest and they say that, you know, the Cowboys, that they mean nothing, that they're not relevant and, you know, haven't done anything for 30 years. And, and those things are true that we have not done anything for 30 years. But for you to disregard what the Dallas Cowboys were and what the Dallas Cowboys players did to bring the NFL into the modern era that it is, to make them, even with Jerry Jones, you may not like Jerry Jones, but Jerry Jones, the things that he ended up doing, which truly opened up doors and money for the league to grow and become what it has, you cannot discount. And for those Eagle fans out there that feel great about that Super Bowl win that you have and your team and how good they are, bro, if you did not see the Dallas Cowboys of the 90s, you don't really know what football is. And if you are a Dallas Cowboy fan that's out there always talking about we got five rings and you don't know anything about those guys, then you are a disgrace as well. Larry Allen was larger than life, literally. He was probably one of the greatest players that I ever remember seeing on the field. I want to kind of honor him a little bit and remind some of you guys how incredible he was and the things that he did. As great as Emmett Smith was, and Emmett Smith is one of the best running backs in football history, but without that offensive line, Emmett Smith isn't the career leading rusher. The holes that they opened up. Larry Allen, Nate Newton, Mark Spignowski, Kevin Gogan, Mark Tuane, just some of the greats that were on that line that were always ready to go, always giving it, and never backing down. I wish that the Cowboys players of today would look what their predecessors did. Larry Allen, the 95th player in the history of the NFL. Number 95 on the top 100 greatest players. Say hi to my mom and dad, my wife. Nice guy. But when he came on that field, Larry said he had a job to do. And his job was to go through you. Larry bench press, 692 pounds. The strongest man. I still remember that, 692 pounds. When a man can bench press 692 pounds, that man can launch you. It's like going against a bear, man. I mean, he's just humongous. Man, he'll grab you, pick you up, and start laughing. And it's nothing you can do. It's like going against a car. You're trying to stop him, and you're just sliding. I've seen him take linebackers, just drop him 20 yards. Not five, not 10, 20 yards. And you go back in the huddle, that linebacker looking at you going, what am I supposed to do? Do the best you can. Do the best you can. Everybody want to test themselves against Larry Allen. <laughs> Good luck with Bad that. man. Bad man. He's a cannibal. In 1994, after nine offensive linemen had already been drafted, the Cowboys selected guard Larry Allen from Sonoma State. He would never be overlooked again. Allen protected Hall of Famer Troy Aikman and led the way for the NFL's all-time leading rusher, Emmett Smith. Oh, look at that hole! Touchdown, Cowboys! You got a guy like Larry Allen in front of you? He was like a wall. I mean, like, oh, like a stomp. I just, you couldn't move it. 
He was very patient, and he never made a lot of mistakes. You weren't going to have guys just run up in there going, yeah, I'm going to bull rush Larry Allen. You never hear anybody say that. Did you bull rush him? Oh, that never came to my mind, bull rush Larry. No, he didn't bull rush Larry. No one teased the opposition better. Night Rider! Randall did. But when he faced Larry Allen, Randall quickly learned to keep like his a little chin kid, strap though. tight and his mouth shut. You didn't taunt him. You were nice to Larry. Give him a hand up, smile at him. Sometimes he smiled back, sometimes he doesn't, but don't get him mad. In the pit, only the strong survive. For 14 seasons, Larry Allen was a raging bull in those trenches, a force to be feared. Nice job, L.A. Good battle, big man. Way to go. Larry, man, he is one of the most powerful men that ever played the game. Being able to take the pounding and come back and play. It's about pride. It's you versus him, and it's in the trenches. Larry's one of the great ones. That's no lie. He is definitely one of the greatest ones of all time. I am... Um, I can't believe it. I, I, I literally... When it came across the wires, I, I just... I got chills just thinking about it that one of the greatest players in recent history for the Dallas Cowboys. I was fortunate enough to be there with the Pro Football Hall of Fame when he was inducted. Um, one of the greatest times of my life meeting Roger Staubach and uh, Franco Harris. And being there and seeing him being inducted, seeing him walking to go on the stage and seeing how nervous he was. He was not um, that vocal, not a great speech uh, presenter like, say, a Michael Irvin, polished. But man, on the field, whew, unbelievable. And for all you out there trying to say that the Cowboys rings that they earned with those guys right there, that they don't mean anything, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. I will take that Dallas Cowboys team with players that will be immortalized. I'm not sure that the 2017 Eagles team, that you'll look at those guys with all of the players that were high rented, so to speak, flashing the pans, Nick Foles and things like that. If you're going to look at that and say, this is truly the Dallas Cowboys and Larry Allen. Sending prayers to Larry Allen's family. Rest in peace, big fella. Rest in peace. <laughs>